In this video we'll walk you through how to calculate charge trend for integrals between two molecules, for instance in an organic crystal and semiconductor material with ADF. As an example we'll first open up ADF jobs and then we'll make a new input file and in the input window we'll import the XYZ coordinates, a dimer cut from the naphthalene crystal and by default that brings us to the model regions panel in ADF which is used to define fragments that are used in fragment based calculations such as the charge transfer integrals so that's very useful in this case we want to divide up this region by molecule which is done with this little triangle here split it up by molecule uh, that means that we have two fragments, one molecule here and one molecule there. Between those two fragments we want to calculate the charge mobility. And to do that first we need to define a multi-level fragment calculation. Say use fragments. So tick yes there. And here you can define a fragment file. If you've already done a calculation before on a different dimer uh, then you can use that fragment, uh, that particular naphthalene fragment here again. You can reuse it if it's the exact same coordinates, sorry, the exact same geometry, then uh, you don't need to recalculate the fragment, but it can be reused for a different uh, configuration of the dimer. Okay, so then we also need to define that we want to calculate these charge transfer integrals that can be found on the properties other tick charge transfer integrals and a good functional for calculating these properties is for instance PW91 as a GGA we want to use a slightly bigger base set so triple zeta with polarization and we want to use no frozen core now we're good to go so we save this as naphthalene charge transfer it will prompt us that the symmetry has been set to no sim which is dictated by the charge transfer integral that can only be calculated without symmetry so we click OK and then we run this guy it can be run on your local machine it will take a couple of minutes uh, it will see that it's by default has created first the fragment calculation so that's this this guy here um, so that's the region that's first calculated and one, once that's done then it will move on to the main calculation which is a charge transfer integral okay so the fragment has been calculated and now it's gone on to do the main calculation um, so it calculates the matrix elements between the two fragments in the um, uh, in the super molecular calculation and the uh, matrix elements for the Fock operator between the highest occupied orbital on the one fragment and the highest occupied molecular orbital on the other fragment gives you the whole coupling and the same goes for the um, unoccupied orbitals so the Fock matrix elements between the two lowest unoccupied orbitals gives you the electron couplings you take a couple of cycles to converge. In principle, the transfer integrals are not that sensitive to reconverging within the supermolecular basis, uh, but they can affect the side energies, and the side energies do go into the um, generalized transfer integrals, as we'll see in a moment. So that calculation is now finished as well, and we can go straight to the output in the SCF, and then you go to output, and then you in the output file you can go straight to the transfer integrals by clicking on properties charge transfer integrals and then on top you will see the generalized or the effective transfer integrals which are the electronic couplings V which are composed of these components which are printed here so these values V these are the ones that go into your Marcus theory um, and they consist of the transfer integrals the side energies and the overlap matrix elements.